Hey guys, welcome back to Trendy Gadget. Today we'll talk about the real reason why the Apple M1X chip won't be produced in 2021. Let's head into it. M1X, Apple's next MacBook Pro refresh, expected later this year, possibly in the summer, according to the latest rumors, could include a beefed up version of Apple's own silicon known as the M1X. The M1X moniker has been circulating for a while. In fact, since the M1 was released and speculation about its successor began, and it'll reportedly be present in these inbound MacBook Pros, rather than an M2 chip. The M2 model is allegedly being held off until 2022 and could appear in a new MacBook Air next year. Furthermore, 9to5Mac points out that this rumor arguably aligns with a recent leak from Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, namely that the new MacBook Pros rumored to be released in the summer will be built with a chip similar to the existing M1, but with more cores. Instead of the M1's 8 cores, the M2 has 10. However, you would be safe in the knowledge that if you did use to use those more powerful cores and those four additional cores in the M1X, German, on the other hand, made no mention of this being an M1X model, or even giving it a name. Attempting to connect two rumors like this, both of which should be treated with caution, particularly this new one, as we've already mentioned, is of course a risky endeavor. Also, make sure to write your thoughts in the comment section. M1X and more Max? At Dylan DKT appears to have reposted the M1X for the MacBook Pro 14 inch and 16 inch refreshes before, with the developer claiming that the M1X will also appear in a higher end iMac and a higher end Mac Mini. Only time will tell whether the refreshed MacBook Pro models are indeed the pipeline for the near future, as another recent bit of grapevine buzz claimed that they could be delayed until 2022. Finally, a snippet from Dylan DKT about the upcoming Apple laptops claims that the MacBook Pro logo will be removed. These MacBook Pro models are expected to have mini LED displays, similar to the new iPad Pro 12.9. Run on all of the higher end MacBook Pros, Mac Mini, iMacs, eventually the Mac Pro, the redesigned MacBook Air. When will it be released? The new M1X chip is also expected to appear in 27-inch iMac Pro desktops, which could arrive in as early as late 2021, though we'll more likely see them in 2022. We shouldn't expect to see the new M1X chip on an iPad Pro model until the next generation iPad is released in 2022, as a new iPad Pro running on the M1 chip was announced just April 2021. Both Ming-Chi Kuo and Digitimes claimed that the new MacBook redesign is coming in 2022. The main reason Apple will now release the M1X in 2021 is that the M1 continues to be a huge success with this M1 chip, which powers some new MacBooks in the most recent Mac Mini. Apple has hit the ball out of the park, but the origins of this superbly innovative bit of silicon can be traced back a decade. According to 9to5Mac, former Apple kernel engineer Shaq Ron recently shared some interesting details on how the M1 evolved in a Twitter thread. Following a claim that the M1's success was due to its impressive cache rather than ARM architecture, Ron tweeted that this isn't the case at all, that the M1's success can be traced all the way back to the development of the Apple A7 64-bit ARM chip, which first revealed with the iPhone 5S in 2013. As Ron points out, Apple hired ARM to develop ARM64 chips for iPhones in 2010, and the M1's development and blazing performance can be traced back to those early core performances plans, with the central concepts being to go super wide with low clocks, highly speculative. To put it another way, going super wide means allowing a core to execute more instructions per clock cycle while maintaining lower clock speeds. Out of order is referred to as triple O, and speculative execution is referred to as speculative execution which is all part of the magic of achieving the higher performance level. The M1 chip's final results speak for themselves, with this giving the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro 13-inch, with M1 released in 2020 glowing reviews, praising their seriously strong performance and awarding the former model a best-in-class award. The Rosetta 2 technology, which allows existing apps to run these new ARM-based portables and to run quickly thanks to the power of the M1, was the other big piece of innovation brought in with these new devices. Even faster than Microsoft's rival, SQ2 ARM CPU that powers the Surface Pro X running Windows 10. What do you think about the M1X? Are you disappointed that we won't see it in 2021? Let us know in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.